This mini lecture is on short division. Um, and short division is a kind of division that we use when we've got a single digit divisor. Uh, so if you wanted to divide 2 into 574, using long division, we're putting our estimate for how many times we think 2 fits into 5 on the top, and then writing our answer to 2 times 2 under the 5 subtracting to get 1, and then bringing the 7 down to the 1. Um, and then we repeat that process, 2 into 17, fitting 8 times, 8 times 2 being 16, with the remainder of 1. And then finally, that 4 coming down, and 2 fitting into 14, 7 times. Um, so the difference when we're doing short division is that instead of bringing the writing down the multiplication answer and the subtraction answer and carrying the next digit down to it, so in this one we estimate, we multiply, we subtract, we bring down. With short division, we're going to still do the estimating, but the multiplying and subtraction steps happen in your head instead of on your paper. And then you bring that remainder, that one that's left over, up next to the next digit instead of bringing that digit down. So that's going to look like this. 2 would still fit into 5 two times. You do the 2 times 2 equals 4 in your head and subtract 4 from 5 also in your head. And then write the remainder of 1 up here next to the 7, just like we carry um, when doing addition problems. Then 2 would fit into 17 8 times. 2 times 8 is still 16. Subtracted from 17 gives a remainder of 1. And then finally, 2 into 14 fits 7 times. So to practice that one more time, let's try it with 3 divided into 513. So the 3 will fit into the 5 one time with 2 remaining, 3 fits into 21 7 times with 0 remaining, and 3 fits into 3 1 time. And then our final practice problem is dividing 5 into 875. So once again, estimate 5 would fit into 8 1 time with 3 remaining, 5 would go into 37 7 times. 5 times 7 is 35, so that leaves us 2 left over. And 2 fits into 25 5 times. So that is the end of short division. Um, and just the final reminder, you, you only use short division when you're dealing with a single digit divisor, meaning there's just one digit out here. Um, you don't want to try to figure out you know, 392 fitting into that and hold all those numbers in your head. Um, so to go on here from that to um, inverted division, inverted division is exactly the same thing, except that we're going to write the division symbols upside down. So we're going to do the same three practice problems. Um, 2 divided into 574, 3 divided into 513, and 5 divided into 875. Uh, but this time, since the division symbol is upside down, we're going to be writing the answers that we get below the numbers instead of above the numbers. Um, so 2 fits into 5 2 times with 1 remaining, into 17 8 times with 1 remaining, and 14 7 times. Then 3 fits into 5 once with 2 remaining, 3 fits into 21 7 times with nothing left, and 3 into 3 once. Um, and then our final problem, 5 into 8 goes once with 3 left over, 5 into 37 fits 7 times with 2 left over, and 5 into 25 fits 5 times. Um, and the reason why I am making you do all of this crazy math uh, will become more evident when we get into the fraction chapter and talk about prime factorization. So I think that does it.